you want to do SEO on your WordPress website. So you're going to use either Yoast SEO or Rock Math, which is the two most common, most popular uh, SEO plugin on the market right now, even though I know they are not the, the only ones. And you have too many features. You have really too many things going on at the same time. It's really, really too much for you. And well, I have good news because there is one plugin that is a lot more simple, a lot more straightforward, and it's really good enough for 90% of users on WordPress when they want to do SEO. And this plugin is called Slim SEO. And I'm going to do a very, very quick tutorial uh, in today's video. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to have more WordPress tutorials and if you want to help a WordPress channel with a French accent to ramp up. So just make a quick research for this free plugin called Slim SEO. This is now my default SEO plugin for every WordPress project. And only if I need more, I would use Yoast or Rank Math. But most of the time, you don't need these plugins because it's way too much for you. So just stick with a simple plugin like Slim SEO and it's good enough to do the basics, which is metadata, redirections, and a few other settings like no index and so on. So let me show you. We install and activate this plugin. Then you have a new menu called Slim SEO under the top level menu settings. So it's a, a lot better than to have a top level menu from your SEO plugin. So. Uh, this is really a good start in my opinion. Uh, this is a really nice plugin. And by the way, it's the most lightweight plugin we have on the market right now. I saw some uh, tests and this one is the most lightweight. So if you want to have a, an SEO plugin, which has the minimum impact on your performance on your website, Slim SEO is the plugin you should install. So everything is toggled on by default. So you now have access to meta title and descriptions for every custom post type you want, including, of course, the pages and posts in uh, WordPress. Meta robots open graph, which is the appearance of every page you share on social medias. So in particular, uh, Facebook and also Twitter here. You have Twitter cards, which is now should be called XX card. Uh, canonical URL, real links, sitemaps, of course. Uh, automatically generate ad text for images, uh, this one, then brand crumbs, RSS feed schema and redirection. So I'm going to show you redirections. Uh, so you pretty much have nothing to do here. Everything should be fine. You have another uh, tab which is called code. So if you want to implement, uh, let's say, Google Analytics or the Tag Manager uh, or the Webmaster tools from Bing, uh, you can put these codes here, so you don't need another plugin for that. You also have access to metadata from the home page straight from uh, Slim SEO settings, title description, uh, open graph, and then Twitter cards. All of them are here for the home page, but you have the same settings for every page you want here and post. Uh, social, would, what would be the default fallback image forward for Facebook when we share a page? So if you want to control the, the appearance of any link we share from your website, what would be the default image appearance? You can put an image here. You have the recommended size here. Uh, we have the same for Twitter X here and social media analytics for Facebook app ID and Twitter site. So this is for more advanced usage of Slim SEO. Uh, then you have tools to migrate your settings from another plugin. So if you use right now Yoast, SEO Press, Rank Maths, you can migrate all the settings into Steam SEO. So if you find yourself having too much with Rank Maths or Yoast, you can migrate from these plugins to Slim SEO and you will gain performance in your website. So I recommend you to do that if you don't need all the extra features we have in Rank Maths, for instance. And for me, my default SEO plugin, if I need more, would be Rank Math. And then we have redirection. So this is very, very simple and easy to use. You can just click on Add Redirect and you can uh, select the type. Most of the time it should be 301. You have the From uh, field, you have the To field. So the old URL, the new URL, you click on Add Redirect and that's it. And this is all we need for a redirection plugin. And before we jump into page and post, just uh, know that you have pro version of SEO, uh, Slim SEO plugin. You have two add-ons. You have one for a schema and one for the link manager. This is to manage links and on your, all your link strategy uh, to be sure that you have links within all your pages and everything. 
then we can jump into the pages menu and we can go to my only page and we have a new menu now and you can put a meta title you have the meta description the facebook so facebook image open graph twitter cards canonical viewer uh, if you don't want this page to be indexed for instance you have a page like uh, terms and conditions this sort of pages uh, you would want to disindex and no index this page and for that you just need to come here and toggle this on and that's it so you have the bare minimum but oftentimes the bare minimum is really enough uh, this is all you need to do basic seo on your website because you already know the in and outs of seo you know that you need to optimize your content so you have enough content enough quality content you know that you are targeting a keyword you know everything about uh, there, there is to know about seo so you just need to have access to meta title description uh, the url if you want to no index a page you should be able to do that and also open graph this is for sharing your pages and posts on social medias and then boom that's it that's all you need for an seo plugin that would be that would do the bare minimum and that would be very lightweight so i think this is the best plugin for a very good start in seo if you want to have an seo plugin and you don't know what to do you don't want to do a ton of seo on your website just stick with a plugin like slim seo and do not install yoast or rank mass this is too much for most of you most of the time for most wordpress projects plus it costs you some performance uh, onto your website because obviously a plugin like rank math which has so many features which is by the way a great plugin well obviously it's going to cost you some performance and if you remove a plugin like rank math it will positively impact your the load times of your pages that's it guys so you have the same settings within posts and also if you have custom post types so what do you think about slim seo do you think it's good enough for you do you think it's all you need to do a basic seo on your website or do you need more pretty much uh, most of the time you would need yoast or rank mats what do you think of slim seo just let me know in the comment section thank you for watching this video and if you have any question use the comment section down below i will see you in the next tutorial on this channel See you. Merci. And you have too many features. You have a lot more. And well, I have good news because there are plugins. And well, there are, I have. And well, I have good news because on this plugin, I'm going to show you in this video is called just before that, do not sub, but before that, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. If you want to have more WordPress tutorials, and if you want to help a French guy, uh, and a YouTube channel, and if you want to help uh, YouTube, <clears throat> and if you want to help.